So when you look at it, there's a range of what people like here. Now, I want to give you one, two thoughts. One is, you tend to give the one you like. Does that make sense? So if you like words of appreciation, you give that. Now, as a manager, stop doing that. Why do I say that? Anyone guess why I'm saying, if you're a manager, stop giving the one you like. Why do I say that? Yeah. Say, what it's saying, if I'm trying to express appreciation, what's your name? Satambra. Satambra. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah, no, I've heard it. <laughs> Is that Satambra in French? See, I'm just showing off. But, so uh, I've got to speak French in public. That was it. I hope you enjoyed it. It's over. <laughs> so, um, so if I want to show appreciation to September, it's not about what I like to give. It's what she likes to receive. What, what do you like to receive? Um, well, that was not helpful. But uh, <laughs> let's assume that it was quality time. Do you like quality? Does anyone? Do you, oh, very good. Okay, sorry about that, September. So, what's your name? Uh, Reza. Which is October in... Anyway, so uh, Reza. So when you look at it, the quality time is something that I like words of appreciation. I'm good at giving them, but that's not what he wants. And when I'm trying to show appreciation to him, I give him what he wants. Is that, this is not blindingly obvious when you think about it. You go, eh, yeah. It makes sense, doesn't it? But it's an insight. A lot of people go, that's actually a good point. I just keep giving what I like to get, but it's not about me. It's about them. And doing on to them as I, they'd like to be done to is, to your point, that's exactly right. So what you need to do as a manager is be able to fluently speak all five. Now, touch, you've got to be, use some care with. But the other ones, you've got to be able to speak all five. And in fact, if someone likes touch, if it's another man, that's fine. I can put my arm around them and that sort of thing. But I, I've got to be more careful as a senior man, particularly university. And that's entirely appropriate and right. But it's something where I can high five people, I can, you know, put my arm around young men and so on, where that's perfectly acceptable. But the other four, no problem at all. And so, I, but I still write handwritten notes to the, I have CEOs come to class, so I write them a handwritten note and send it to them because you never get handwritten notes. Well, you rarely do anyway. And when you do, you go, whoa, I'm impressed that someone took the care out. So that's a simple point. Now, how do you figure out what a person likes? So I have someone coming to work for me. How do I know which of the five they like? There's three things that come to mind. How would I know? Sounds like a song, how do I know? <laughs> Who sings that? Houston. Yeah, Whitney Houston. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, okay, so uh, how will I know what someone likes? What advice would you have? Ask them. So it's brutal, but just ask them. So I, I wrote a Forbes blog, and I give it to my students who work for me and say, which do you like? Come and tell me. And they're smart, and they just tell me. And then I try to remember that. What's another way? You could watch. So good empirical data, but it might take a little while, but it's a good way to watch them and try all five. Another one is go old, ask their old manager or someone who worked with them and says, what is he like? What is she like? And then just give it to him. So again, it's, you get this idea. So what we've learned now in the last 12 minutes or so is there's five languages, five ways to say thank you. That we tend to like one. We give that. Don't do that. Give what they need. Do you get that idea?